Hey, Shook. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do Pisces reading for the first half of May. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Pisces. Okay. So first half of May. If this reading does not resonate, please, I do advise that you check your other placements. I'm sure one of them will. I do not want you to make it fit if it does not. Okay. That's very important. So for Pisces, the spread that I'm going to do, I'm going to look at you, the challenge, you know, um, the overall energy, what happened in the past, what's coming up in the immediate future, what are you thinking about, what's the root of it, and some advice, okay, for Pisces. Okay. Okay. All right, Pisces, your overall energy the Knight of Cups. Yeah. With the Hermit right behind that, okay? So someone is death, whoop, and death, okay? Mm-hmm. So something ended, okay? Something ended. It could have been with someone that was maybe playing mind games on you because I saw the four, Five of Swords back there. All right? But with this Hermit energy, this could be someone that it says soul searching on the, on the card. This could be someone that is soul searching now, but... They could have ghosted, taken some time to themselves, okay? Maybe after an ending. We're going to clarify and see what happened. What's your energy in the first half of May? The Page of Swords. It says thoughts, okay? But that's you trying to figure something out, okay? It's also a spying card, right? So you could be spying, Pisces. <laughs> Who knows, right? But it's definitely you trying to figure something out. The Page of Swords is the learner, okay? Always looking always discovering, always wanting to know more. What's the challenge? The nine of cups, okay? That's a wish fulfilled. It's like someone's thinking about how to like maybe go after their wish fulfillment, okay? With this hermit energy, someone could have definitely like taken some time back, taken time to themselves, pulled themselves back to figure something out, okay? Let's see what you're thinking about. The three of wands, okay? It says awaiting results, but I do feel like this is someone like looking into the future, okay? Definitely someone like waiting for some things to manifest, to come through. What's the root of it? Mm -hmm. Two of cups, someone wants a union, okay? It's like maybe they're waiting for you. Maybe they're waiting for some type of sign, okay? Maybe they are spying on you, okay? All right. Let's see what happened in the past. The nine of wands. It says trials and tribulations. So definitely things were not easy in the past, okay? Which can which can be the reason why someone might be in hermit energy, you know, now, right? But looking at taking action, because this whole reading is about someone taking action, coming in with a romantic gesture, pulling up. <laughs> I call it pull up. Is that pull up on me. That's, what's my friend? Okay, we'll come to that later. Immediate future. <laughs> Four of Wands. Mm -hmm. Commitment. Okay. Stability. It says foundation and commitment on the card. Mm -hmm. I do feel like someone is going to take action towards you. Period, Pooh. <laughs> this is what it is. What's the advice? Yeah, four swords. Okay. It says healing and recovery. Yeah. I do feel like, you know, maybe this person's coming back around to heal the connection because maybe you guys are at odds. We do see an ending. Okay. So we're going to see exactly what's going on here in this first half of May. But spirit definitely wants some healing to happen here. Okay. Either for the two of you together or just maybe just for you, Pisces. We'll see. Don't worry. I mean, I'm sure spirit wants everyone to heal. But we'll see what's going on. All right. For Pisces in the first half of May. I just had to put my glasses on. I don't know. I just feel like like maybe my eyesight is just going bad. I need to go to the doctor. I can't see doctor. For Pisces, first half of May. Putting my glasses on to make everything so much more clear. <laughs> For Pisces. First half of May, spirit, one more time. 
This is a deck I haven't used in a while. I saved it though. <laughs> so it's ready for you, Pisces. Okay. Right. All right, so we got a Knight of Cups here. This whole reading is about someone taking action. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Pisces in the first half of May, Spirit? Please make the messages true and clear and easy to interpret. Because my eyesight is bad. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Mm -mm. Knight of Cups, please. Mm -hmm. The Magician. Yeah, I do feel like that. Somebody's trying to manifest a union here with the lovers on the back. Mm -hmm. Someone sees you as a divine counterpart. Their boo. Look, the wish fulfillment. Okay, they have clarity on that with the Ace of Swords. They see you as that person. And they're trying to manifest you, okay? They're, they're praying. They're praying. They know that they effed up, okay? They know that they messed up. Something happened where there was an ending, okay? Something happened where there was an ending. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Pisces, first half of May? And so they're trying to, like, call you back in. They're asking Spirit to, like, bring Pisces back to me, please. They're spying on you, watching you, Okay? They may be like watching your social media. <laughs> they may, may be watching this uh, tarot reading right now. <laughs> Frost Watcher. Okay. But. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the, the, with the star card on the bottom, this person is definitely praying. Okay, they are calling all the angels for assistance on this one. Okay, nine of wands. Okay, definitely that nine of wands from the past. Okay, whoever this person is, um, it's that nine of wands in the past energy. Okay, so at least you know who it is, right? This person's trying to manifest you back, all right? With the eight of swords, they feel like okay, definitely this is thought, these are thoughts. Okay, thoughts, you know, they got they up in their head about oh, Pisces ain't gonna never talk to me again, it's over for real right just you know feel totally defeated like they, they can't even move okay but the three of cups this is something that they desire they want to come back together with you okay six of cups okay they want a reconciliation and they're hoping to take this action okay for reconciliation they see you as a soulmate okay we already saw the lovers on the bottom of the deck for sure they have clarity on who you are to them now with the nine of cups that's the challenge them getting their wishes fulfilled Four of Pentacles, this person's not letting go, though. They're not letting go. They're not giving up, okay? Yeah. Eight of Cups. Yeah. Whatever, okay. So this person um, with the Eight of Cups, they may have had to leave something behind in something, okay, in order to have a new beginning, all right? With the Six of Pentacles, okay? This person could have, like, not been, like, investing initially, okay, in the past, Okay? I'm going to clarify this page of swords for Pisces. <sighs> clarify the page of swords for Pisces in the first half of May spirit. Page of swords. That's a page of swords here. Mm -hmm. Ace of cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the emperor on the bottom, could be dealing from Aries. Yeah, well, somebody was back and forth, okay, uh, indecisive, could make up their mind, maybe even juggling two opportunities, okay? With the Ten of Swords, someone could have found out about that, Page of Swords energy, okay, discovery, right? And this calls a Ten of Swords, right? This person's coming in with a, an Ace of Cups, okay? This Emperor, whoever this Emperor is, they're coming in with the Ace of Cups, yep. Here's that Page of Swords again. Okay, definitely thinking, definitely watching you, okay, definitely figuring things out, figuring out what you're doing, who you're with, okay, how, how angry you are with them, okay, with the two of cups, this person's interested in a commitment, interested in coming into union, I love these cards, they're so pretty, the artwork, yeah, seven of cups on the bottom, and the knight of wands, yeah, eight of cups and eight of pentacles, yeah, this person is walking away from whatever they needed to walk away from. Whatever was not emotionally serving them, okay? 
This could also be you walking away from them because they also have the seven of cups and this is someone that is worried. They're worried about maybe you walking away. And so they're taking action, okay? Because someone is definitely worried, right? I'm gonna clarify this nine of cups. This person I definitely feel sees you as their nine of cups. We already have the nine of cups come out or show its face. Yeah, it showed its face. Why is the nine of cups here as a challenge for Pisces in the first half of May? The nine of cups for Pisces. Six of pentacles, okay. Yeah, with the queen of cups in judgment. Yeah, so this person is choosing love, all right? I feel like... Um, at one point, maybe this person just wasn't investing into the connection, into the the friendship or whatever, you know, you can, you know, whatever type of relationship you guys have. They weren't investing. They weren't meeting you halfway, okay? But now with judgment here and the Queen of Cups, okay? This person's definitely um making a decision to actually put in the work on this, actually invest, okay? Put in and meet you halfway. With the 9 of Swords and the 5 of Pentacles, this person is, is driving them crazy being away from you, okay? So this is definitely someone that you're not around, okay? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here as a challenge? Nine of Cups. It's coming, I feel it. There it is. All right. Yeah. Ace of Swords, okay? They have clarity now. This person wants to talk to you as well, okay? The challenge is to get you to talk to them. They feel like you won't. But with the Ace of Swords, this person has clarity on who you are to them. Okay, with the Empress energy here, this person sees you as a wish fulfillment because you are like their ultimate um, feminine energy. Okay, so this card is representing a feminine energy for sure. Okay, we already saw the Emperor. Okay, whoever the feminine energy is, The person sees you as the wish fulfillment, okay? And they want to take action, serious action with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? They want to actually take this somewhere because with the Five of Pentacles, this person feels out, left out in code, okay? They feel like, you know, you've pushed them away, okay? And Strength and the Queen of Pentacles, this person's trying to, like, build up the courage to come at you and, like, let you know who you are to them and how they see you and what they want to do. Okay, and the connection, how they want the connection to go, right? Now that all of this is happening and we see what's going on, let's see what happened in the past and how it even got here, right? One more time for Pisces. All right, we got the nine of wands in the recent past. Trials and tribulations, it said. Why is the nine of wands here in the recent past for Pisces? The Nine of Wands for Pisces. Nine of Wands for Pisces Spirit. That's the Nine of Wands here for Pisces. Okay, yeah. Five of Cups, okay. This is a regret, okay? This person in the recent past is going through some stuff. Okay, they have some regrets. Some things didn't didn't work out the way that they wanted them to, okay? With the Queen of Wands here and the Ten of Swords, Page of Cups. This person could, I don't know if the... Yeah, this person sees you 
as their queen of wands. Very sexy, very feisty, okay? Um, attractive even, okay? And they feel like they've hurt you, okay, with the ten of swords. They are crying over spilled milk, looking at the past, looking at the things that they've done, right? And thinking about all of what they've experienced, all of what they've put you through, okay, with the ten of swords energy. And they want to apologize, okay? They're thinking about how they should have apologized and, you know, how they should have made things right, okay? Nine of Wands for Pisces. The different actions that they should have taken. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Pisces? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this person with the devil energy on the bottom. Okay. Okay. Yeah. With the full energy, they're ready to take a leap of faith. In a recent past, um, this person could have, yeah. Okay, I see it. With the full energy, this person wasn't, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily see that as taking a leap of faith. Okay. Mm -mm. This person wasn't thinking clearly. Okay. This person was being a fool. Okay. Making foolish decisions. Okay. Just kind of just going you know and doing things like off of like a whim like just not even thinking things through okay and that caused a tower between you and them all right they made a careless decision all right just like how that fool is trying to jump off the bridge <laughs> or the cliff right made a careless decision and that caused a tower between you and them okay and they're you know in the recent past they do regret that okay and so with the four swords um, you guys could have like taken a break from each other, tried to heal, you know, personally, maybe try to heal the connection, apply how it fits, okay, to your scenario, right? And maybe they even promise to like end deception because we do have the world here in the seven of swords, okay? So they could have even like promised in the past, like, you know what, um, I'm going to be different. I'm not going to lie to you anymore, okay? I'm not going to, you know, hide things from you, whatever the case may be. Right, but there was definitely some trials and tribulations happening here with the wounded warrior. Yeah, with the devil here and the five of coins. Yeah, this person didn't make a decision. He didn't. They didn't right, make the right decision. They didn't make the right decision. All right. Let's clarify what you're thinking about with the three of wands. First half of May. Why is the three of wands here? For Pisces in the first half of May, Spirit. Three of Wands for Pisces in the first half of May. Three of Wands. Okay. So with the three of wands um, being what this person is thinking about or what you're thinking about, okay, with the star here, someone's waiting for like um, things to kind of heal or pass over, okay, because definitely there was an argument or some type of fighting, okay, there was some type of disagreement, arguments or fights, okay, that someone is looking to, um, to heal, okay, to like bring to peace, like we do have the four swords here as your advice, okay. Someone wants to bring everything kind of like back to, you know, normal, okay? Um, they don't want you to still be angry with them, okay? And with the King of Swords here, this person um, maybe, you know, trying to like figure out a way to communicate with you. Um, maybe even trying to like get you to talk to them. Okay, because the king of swords can be very cold, um, source energy, you know, communicative. So being able to like talk things through, okay, maybe they are waiting to have a conversation with you to heal 
the situation with the argument, okay? Because we do have, so with the Five of Swords and the Hermit energy, this is someone who was in Hermit mode that's like, you know, in their mind, like feeling defeated, like this is over. Like they have so much fear with the Moon energy that, you know, they're definitely sitting in dark times, all right? And with the Four of Cups here, this person thinks that you're going to reject them, all right? They want to talk to you, right? And maybe they already have, okay? But they're just kind of waiting for you to bring them back in, right? Because they do feel totally left out in the cold, okay? They see you as a wish fulfillment. They want success and victory with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see why this Two of Cups is here, okay? They want to bring this back together, okay? They want to heal the connection. They want to heal from all the fighting and want you to receive them again because... Of the two of cups why is the two of cups here for pisces first half of may why is the two of cups here for pisces in the first half of may spirit two of cups mm -hmm. the devil okay this person feels very much so attached to you. They could be like, <laughs> uh, like sexually drawn to you. That little bit of dignity, okay? With the Ten of Cups, um, yeah, this person definitely sees you as they're like forever, okay? And they just they can they they like this is something I cannot let go, okay? With the Moon energy and the Hangman. The King of Cups. Yeah. It's like this person's realizing um, like just how toxic or unhealthy some of their habits were. Okay? Like I feel like with the moon energy, this person held in a lot. Maybe secrets, um, emotions. Okay? Maybe not expressing to you just how much you mean to them. Okay? And so they're starting to see like, you know, the effects of them not speaking up, okay? Yeah. With the Knight of Pentacles, this person wants to come in with an offer. But there's worry there, okay? With the Seven of Cups. This person's worried that you're not going to receive them. Yep. Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. They want to go towards something solid, okay? Okay. But they're just, they feel like totally defeated by what occurred in the past and whatever arguments and dispute that you guys may have had, okay? So what we have here in the immediate future is the four of wands, okay? All right. Let's see. Why is the four of wands here for Pisces? Four of wands here for Pisces. Why is the four of wands here? First half of me. Foundation and commitment, it says. Four of Wands. Four of Pisces. Mm -hmm. look, uh -huh, look, the cards that fell out were the Four of Wands and the Hierophant. Eight of Cups on the bottom. But they didn't turn over, so I ain't taking them. <laughs> Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Last four of Wands here for Pisces. Okay. Still that same eight of cups. All right, let's get you a real shuffle. I don't know what's happening here. All right. Four of wands for Pisces in the immediate future. Why is this card here, spirit? The Nine of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, 
okay? With the death card and the four of wands, queen of swords. Mm -hmm. yeah okay okay so you could have already been in a commitment with this person not that they're ready to go to commitment but you guys were already in a commitment Okay, like a full blown house, family, everything, right? And it's almost like this person ruined that in the recent past by lying or whatever the case may be. They made a poor decision. So they're trying to figure out how to have a new beginning with you. Okay, with the four of wands here, clarified by the nine of swords and the will of fortune, this person is really stressed out about this four of wands meaning like they're really stressed out about you know this ending okay they feel like it's done like you're not going to receive them you're not going to hear them out okay you're not going to take them back we see that they're worried about being rejected up here okay this person wants things to be different they want they want change they're ready for things to kind of move forward Okay, yeah, because what they're feeling is that you're going to make the decision with the Queen of Swords energy, real cold and direct and, you know, zero emotion, right, um, to end this officially, right, like no second chances. So they're like really bugging, <laughs> like they're stressing because... They're trying to figure out mm -hmm, how to have things change or turn around, okay? You also have justice here, okay? With the death card and the four of wands, okay? It's almost like It's almost like if you do end it, it kind of serves them right. You know? But this can also say that maybe you feel like the connection's over. And maybe that's something that you're stressing about. But if so, with the will of fortune and justice here, this is changed in a positive direction. Let's get one more for the four of wands. Because we did see the emperor and the empress, okay? So this definitely could be a connection that was already established. Yeah. With the moon card and the ten of swords, okay? This hermit, again, someone's really thinking about yeah, in the Page of Pentacles. Like, someone's really thinking, like, this is done. They're fearing that this is done. And they're praying. They're, they're really, like, stressing. And they're praying for change. They're praying for things to turn around. Okay? Spirit's advice is the four swords. Heal and recovery. Healing and recovery. Why is the four swords here as advice for Pisces spirit? Why is the four swords here as advice for Pisces? The nine of cups, okay? Temperance, yeah, which is healing, okay? This is a wish fulfillment, okay? And it's time to like heal it and move forward, okay? With the chariot energy, yeah, to commitment, to like, you know, the long term, all right? Yeah, it's time to heal this and move forward, okay? Like with the five of pentacles and the four of wands, okay? 
This is someone who wants to come back home. Okay, this is someone who wants to come back home. Spirit is saying, let him come back home. Okay. Healing and recovery. Four of Swords. Mm -hmm. So they're coming in with that gesture. Okay, we got that as the overall energy, that Knight of Cups. All right? With the, the Seven of Wands, don't push this person away. Don't block them, okay? They're taking action. They're standing their ground on it. Okay, they are definitely coming in with a new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. They want to start over, okay? And they're communicating. They're telling you everything, all what you need to know, okay? Spilling it. Whatever they've been holding in with that high priestess, they take giving you all the information you need. Okay, whatever they can do to heal this connection, they're willing to do it because they do see you as a wish fulfillment. Spirit is saying, let them come home. Okay, yeah. Yep. Someone wants to move into karma waters with this. Okay, Pisces. Let's get you some advice from my sacred traveler's deck. This is so good. Love, love stories. You know, when true love can come together, it's a beautiful thing. You know, the type of, you know, damage you guys can do when it's real true love. And you guys, you know, respect each other and can hold each other down and have each other's back, right? For Pisces, first half of May, spirit. You know, people got to think before they act, right? I mean, we all fall short. We just have to learn from the lesson. Okay, it says embracing enthusiasm, shout to the heavens with happiness. Okay, miracles expect the wondrous to emerge. Okay, you might be feeling like, oh, this is done. Okay, I feel like a little bit of this is you too. Okay, because I'm sure that you're missing this person. Okay, your person, right? But spirit is saying, heal the connection. Where's the book? I know I have it. never took it out of the box okay embracing enthusiasm okay shout to the heavens with happiness stop waiting on the sidelines to heal your life and reach your goals get up and take some risk break a few rules shout to the heavens with joy and exuberance <laughs> clap your hands with glee be silly don't hold back allow childlike wonder to flood your life take a day off of work experience and celebrate even the smallest events of life discover what's great about each day and each other okay this is not the time to be reserved embrace every aspect of life smell the daisies Good times are ahead if you just let loose a little bit. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. <laughs> I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I swear, it must be like the sage or something because it's like extra smoky in here. And all I see is clouds. <laughs> I'm serious. But this is a really beautiful reading, okay? I feel like this is something that needs to heal. Think about it. I wish you guys are ready.